major police forces in Europe, the US, Canada and Australia routinely carry firearms. Armed officers have even started going on regular patrol in quiet villages in Scotland. Over the years, police have begun to wear armour and carry heavy duty weaponry. From non-lethal stuff you probably expect, like tasers, pepper spray and rubber bullets, to pistols, assault rifles and hand grenades. Take US cops. Their government has issued $4 billion worth of free military gear, kissing out regular officers as if they're going to war on their own doorstep. It's scary when certain police forces are given the authority to operate more like the army than the police. Take what happened in Ferguson after an unarmed teen, Michael Brown, was killed by a police officer. The locals started protesting and what did the police do? They carried out a military style crackdown with tear gas, dogs, trucks and rubber bullets. These protests wouldn't have happened if the public had confidence in the police. In the US, we don't even know how many people cops kill each year. Legally, they don't have to report this information. That's mad. The FBI suggests the figure is around 400 felons. How many deaths go unreported? Nobody knows. Don't get us wrong, we're not hating on the police. It's not just civilians that lose their lives. Sadly, more than 100 American officers die each year in the line of duty. Looking more like the military, London police force are being given water cannons, which, pending government approval, they'll be able to use on future rioters. Some say they are brutal, in the past they've blinded people, and if they're not met with mass public opposition, what will stop them from going ahead? Like the UK, many countries have independent police complaints agencies, whose job it is to police the police. But do they? The police complaints authorities in Jamaica, Guyana, New Zealand and Sri Lanka actually delegate all cases of complaints investigations back to the police force themselves. Not really fair and balanced, is it? One simple solution is already in use in many cities across the US, to make the police wear body cameras. They're a bit like GoPros that attach to the vest. One study found that wearing these little gadgets resulted in an 88% decline in complaints and a 59% decline in police brutality. While it's not the complete solution, it could be the start of ensuring someone is policing the police. The police are part of our communities, so should we play a greater role in saying how we're governed and how they're governed? Click the links to find out how you can impact the future of this story.